good morning students today we will see the last one database security so what is database security so providing controls designed to perfect to protect the database management system the security provides the protection for the database management system so suppose if we are if there is a multi user in the database so who can access that information suppose take an example as a suppose uh, our college is having a database then in that there, there is a different type of users are there so check once uh, accounts department and uh, administration department attendance department and examination department think like this these are the four departments so now we'll see suppose uh, what the information required for the accounts department only student name roll number father name and how much fees they paid total fees total fees how much paid and balance these details only they require they don't want to require any other type of information suppose if you go with the attendance uh, <coughs> department so once they are going for the attendance department they required only what they required roll number name father name phone number and what it is called as attendance percentages they don't require any other information regarding like as a fees and all the details address results they require only this one so like that we can provide the protection by using things called as what database security the types of database security measures your business should use include protecting underlying infrastructure that houses the database such as the network and servers securely configuring the data pdb ms and the access the data itself who can access how can access what can access this will be explained by using database security so there is a different type of the controls are there in the database security so what are the security controls the database security encompasses multiple controls including system ordering access dbms configuration security monitoring these different security controls helps to manage circumventing of security protocols okay so first subject system ordering and monitoring the underlying architecture provides the additional access to the dbms it is vital the dal system are patched consistently ordered using known security configuration standards and monitored for access including insider threats so what is the meaning of threat the threat is nothing but the problem so what type of the problem should be occur any attack or issue you are raised then automatically There, if there any problem will be occur that is known as what threat a threat nothing but it is a problem so there is a definition is there for the threat also okay any situation or event whether internationally or incidentally can cause damage which can reflect and adverse affect the database structure and consequently the organization then that is called as threat the problem which will be occur incidentally or internationally intentionally whatever it may be a sudden maybe for fluctuations or damage of hardware or damage of software or uh, unnecessarily we press any button so this type of the problems if any occurred so that consequently the organization also will be affected by using that then that is called as a threat a threat may occur by situation or event involving a person or the action situations that are probably to bring harm to an organization and its database right so it will affect the database structures okay that is called as threat that is called as threat right so then second one is dbms configuration so what is the dbms it is critically that the dbms be properly configured and handled to take advantages of security features and limit privileged access that may cause in misconfiguration of expected security settings so privileged access to whom we require to whom they require so like in the start beginning of this uh, session i told the fee accounts department require only accounts details only they don't want to bother about attendance and the attendance department require only about attendance only they don't want to bother about the remaining of the item so that privileges we can provide that is called as what dbms configuration next one is what authentication what is that authentication who can access the person given the person user id and password 
that other security measures include authentication, the process of verifying if users credentials match those stored in your database and permitting only authenticated users access to the your data networks and database platform. Suppose take an example, your mobile is there. You will get your screen lock or fingerprint. Why only authorized person, persons can need to open like that? We can provide the authentication for the databases so that only authentication persons only, the authorized people only, they can use that one. Next one, access. Who can access? Right? How they can access? A primary outcome of database security is the effective limitation of access to your data. The access controls authenticate, legitimate users and applications, limiting what they can access in your database. So, like in the example in the previous, also I said. So fees department, who, what they need, they need only regarding the fees. So it may be anyone who cleared the fees, who are not cleared the fees, who are having the balance, how much balance is there, total, yearly, how much they, they will get. These are the details only they can access. They don't want to access any other type that providing the access control. Next, database auditing. So what is the auditing? So monitoring or auditing actions is part of database security protocol. So man monitoring perfectly working or not according to the queries they are working or not right hiding edge to detect detect deter and reduce overall impact on unauthorized access to your database any other unauthorized person they are using so then that will be controlled by using database auditing next one is backup and recovery backup and recovery every time the data need to backup as part of your database security protocol makes a copy of your data and stores in a separate system so that if any problem occurred in the original system the data will be available that is called as what backups next one is what encryption database security can include a secure management of encryption keys protecting of the encryption system management of secure to offset encryption backup and access restriction protocols encryption nothing but what simply if you are giving any password what are the rules they will provide they will say alphabets and numbers and special characters and one should be capital letter one number should be there and one special character so this is used to provide more security for the database so like that the encryption code will be there so that the keys will be provide the encryption code so that will provide more security for the databases right the next one is application security suppose who are having this uh, who are using that application common known attacker experts that can circumvent access controls including sql injection so any problems also occur that will be provided by the application security okay so these are the security says that so a database security safeguards defense against myriad of security threats and can help protect your enterprise from deployment failure, excessive privileges, privileged abuse, platform, what is called as vulnerabilities, unmanaged sensitive data, backup data exposure, weak authentication, database injection attacks. So previously what you studied, so the, the problems are there that will we can overcome by using database security so deployment failure exclusive privileges privilege abuse platform problems that means osr problems unmatched sensitive data backup data exposure weak authentication database injection attacks so these are the things we can avoid by using database security so data is a valuable entity that must have to be firmly handled and managed as the with economic resource so some part of all the commercial data may have tactically importance to their respective organization right so some data will be there that is not be shown by all the members suppose you take it as management so what management required in the management information system entire the organization information they require some sensitive data will be there that should not be open for any others so that type of data also we can safely kept in a one place by using database security so what is the database security database security is the technique that protects and secures the database against intentional or accidental threats intentional or accidental it may be intentionally removing the data or accidentally removing the data so 
that we can overcome by using database security. The breaking of security may harm other parts of the system which may ultimately affect the database structure. Right? If any harmful situation has occurred, then automatically that will affect to all the database structure only. Okay. So for that, the consider database security about the following situations: theft and fraudulent, loss of confidentiality or security secrecy, loss of data privacy, loss of data integrity, loss of availability of data. These listed circumstances mostly signify the areas in which organization should focus on reducing risk that is chance of incurring loss of damage of data within the database. So these are the different types of situations. It may be theft, it may be confidential information can be lost or data privacy can be lost, data integrity rules can be lost. So availability of data also will be available in multiple systems so they can access, anyone can access. To overcome this one, we will provide the database security. So computer based controls. So different forms of uh, countermeasures to treats on computer system range from physical controls to managerial procedures. Right? So computer based controls to manage the computer systems range from physical controls and managerial procedures. Okay. It is worth nothing that usually security of data BBMS is merely as good as that the operating system due to the close association among them. Okay. So what are the things are there? Access authorization, access control, use, backup and recovery of data, data integrity, encryption of data and RAID technology. So what is access control? The usual way of supplying access control to use to a database system is dependent on the granting and revoking the privilege within the database. So access control, providing the access control in the last in the previous uh, topic we ex discussed about the access control, who can access, how can access, what can access, that will be provided by using granting and revoke. There's a TCL, uh, DCL commands are there. Data communication language, we are having the grant and revoke commands. Grant and revoke commands. Grant it provides the privileges, who can access, how can access, what can they can access. Right? So there are the two ty various types are there, two types are there, one is discretionary access control and mandatory access control okay next one is backup and recovery every database management system should have offer the backup facility to help with the within the recovery of database after failure so if any failure occurred it may be over yes it may be application it may be hardware it may be software it may be power fluctuation in any situation if any damage has been occurred for the database there should be a backup and so that we can recovery of the database that is called as what backup and recovery so in the next session we will discuss about this uh, topic called as what raid technology okay